channel so as some of you may know i recently posted a video showing me building the dollhouse that is behind me and i said in that video that if you guys would like to see a tour please comment down below and a couple of people did comment down below so this video is going to be a tour of my dollhouse so this is actually part one i'm splitting it into two different parts because my dollhouse has four floors and the first three floors it is equivalent to like four rooms for each floor and on top there's two rooms which that's kind of a lot and I want to go in some more detail so yeah um welcome to part one so the first room we have is the kitchen slash living room slash dining room I combined all three of those because I wanted it to be open concept so here's just like an overview of the room and now I'm going to get into some more detail okay so in the far left corner we have the couch i got this couch when i was pretty little i remember i have like a polaroid picture of isabel grace and then like some baby dolls sitting on this couch from christmas when i was like six or something but it folds out into a bed and then i have these pillows that i made a really long time ago on it next to the couch we have this trash can that i got from the dollar store a really long time ago and there's just felt in it because I have nowhere to put the felt. Then we have a coffee table that I made out of cardboard and paper. Um, it's kind of bad quality, but as long as I don't put too much weight on it, it's fine. And I have a homemade Monopoly game on it, a dollar, a deck of cards, um, some cards, and then remote. I haven't actually had time to make a TV yet, but there will be one sometime in the future. Then we have the little table and chair set. I got this quite a while ago. I don't even remember. And there is this little picture that was from a painting set. And there's one of these candles that I'm surprised still works because I've had it for years. And I left it on for like three weeks. Then there's napkins from like a human ice cream toy set. The last part of the kitchen is the Art Generation like red kitchen set. I got this kind of like a month or two ago from Mercari. But in this part, I just store all of the food. And down here is um, food that wouldn't fit in there and just some drinks. Then over here, we have like the bigger or the other part of the kitchen. So here's where I store some bowls and then there's a plate stuck in the back of it. There's just an empty cup, salt, pepper, sh and sugar, some napkins, cute little recipe card. There's like a bunch of random junk and trash in there. And then there's nothing in the oven. There was never a drawer there when I got it since I got it used and all. So I just keep things that are too big to like fit in other places. Then in here I keep all of my doll dishes. It's kind of messy. And then up here I just keep random things. Ketchup, mustard, trail mix, oven mitt, a hair curler. Yeah, all that stuff. So next door to the kitchen we have Gracie's room and Gracie is the only one of my dolls that actually has her own room. But anyway, um, here's her bed. Um, I made it out of cereal boxes and cardboard and then these like wooden block things from like a set, like a toy set that my brother and I had. And then there are some more recipe cards since Gracie loves baking. Her bedding I got off Amazon and this actually came with Isabel's pajamas, but I thought it should go to Gracie. And I have Gracie's little slippers. A rug that came with an Our Generation pet set. And then there's Gracie's dog Coco. Sorry, I'm holding my camera. I should probably put it down. Yeah. And then there's Gracie's phone. There's a chair and her charm bracelet. And then I have just some dog toys. And up there it says Adventure Begins. No, it says The Adventure Begins. 
But that is it for Gracie's room. And something I forgot to say is that every room has these little light things. I got them from the dollar store. They're super easy to use. Oops. Um, yeah, I got like a pack of 40 something because it was the smallest amount they sold them in. But I don't regret it. They're very helpful. So the last room on the first floor is Noelle and DeAndrea's room. And the theme for this room is kind of like acting and filming. So on DeAndrea's side, which is this side, you can see she has a movie camera and then like one of the microphones that you professionally use. Then she has like a very simple script book. Her bedding is a hot pink and her pillow matches. Then I have this random like thing I did a while ago when I was making Who Else Is Lying. And then there's a little post that says lights, camera, action. In between both of their beds, there is a director's chair. There is that little trophy thing that says top actress. Or no, it says, oh, I, I forget. Um, It says best actress awards. It's really hard to read. Can you read that? Yeah, you probably can't. There is also a little ticket up there. Then moving on to Noah's side. It is the same color pink, but she has a show year pillow. And then her script is very sparkly and pink. Yeah, um, even though pink isn't her favorite color, she likes yellow the best. It's still pink. Then there's a reflector, a fancy like studio light. Then there are some stickers on the wall and then a poster that says act. So that is all for their room, and that concludes the first floor, so now I'm going to move up to the second floor. Okay, so next up we have Isabel and Blair's room. Ow, I just hit the door. Um, but the top bunk belongs to Isabel, and the bottom bunk belongs to Blair. Blair has these, like, flowery sheets, and on the wall are some stickers that came with her accessories. She also has her yellow phone on her bed. Then the top bunk is Izzy's, as I've already said. And she has like a little chapstick or whatever. And then a pearl necklace. Her bedding is double-sided, but I have it on the white side. Since I think it's prettier. Then she has this sticker that my friend gave me. Here's a cat. I don't know what I want to name her cat. So you all should comment down below cat names. Yeah. There are Isabel slippers, and then there's this little thing. I think it's a washcloth, but I'm using it as a rug. On this wall, there's another sticker that my friend gave me. A little gem thing, and then a picture I took a very long time ago. Like, I think I've had it for as long as I got Blair and Isabel. I took it a couple days after I got Blair. Yeah. And then we have the vanity, which is covered in pink stickers. On top is one of Isabel's crowns, and then there's just a bunch of, like, trophies, a card, a candle, a phone, some makeup, and then... The only thing on the vanity that belongs to Blair is that it says, Please View Farm... No, Pleasant View Farm. Who is... <laughs> Who's saying Please View Farm? And then... Yeah, there it's focused. It says Manhattan Farmer's Market, and it shows, like, what they're selling and all. The vanity lights up. Not super bright, but I like it. And then inside, I have a bunch of random trinkets. This drawer has the glasses that Isabel is supposedly supposed to wear. Oops. And then there is this little crown. And there's an LOL doll. Like a mini one. And then in here, we just have some random hair accessories and a mini brush. And then, what is that? Oh, a little dog toy. But... That is it for the vanity. And then up there is that little picture that I printed out when I was making Who Else Was Lying. But that's it for their room. Next we have Jocelyn and Alexis's room. Their beds are like doll boxes because I ran out of beds. Quite a few dolls have doll boxes as their beds in my dollhouse. But their bedding is just a bib, these two bibs. And I got these with Isabel and Blair's bed. Then on Jocelyn's bed, there's just a random thing. And next to Alexis's, there is this cute little ball. They both have these little hooks made out of pins, and they have the same bag on them. Then there is a Vineyard Vines sticker, some little sequins flip stickers, or no, sequins flip keychains that I got from my grandpa after my cousin and I, like, 
did a commercial or something like that for him. Then there's a nightstand I made a while ago with some books and a Barbie lamp on it. And there is a doll hospital card. Um, what is that? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, those are like nail stickers. Came with a nail set. Then there's a Rubik's Cube and Jocelyn's hearing aid. Okay, so next door to them is Shailene and Lake's room, as you can probably tell by the name tags. I thought that was just a cute little touch. I might end up taking them down because if I like want to have like a character in that room, it would be weird if they had someone else's name. But anyways, this is Lake's side. It has her guitar on it. And her bed is in horrible condition. I've had so many dolls on it, so it's kind of collapsing. But it has this bedding that went with a baby doll that I had when I was little. And then she has this sticker with, hold on, you can't see that. She has this sticker with donuts headphones on it. I don't really understand it, but it's cute, so. Moving on to Shailene's side, at the foot of her bed she has a skateboard. Um, and then she has the bedding that, I think I also got it from Amazon. Oh, I get a lot of bedding from Amazon. And then there's this little random thing that I drew. And there is my old jewelry box, which I use as a nightstand for them. On top of it, there is a La Patisserie bag with, like, skateboarding and, like, random stuff on it. And then there is Lake's iPhone. It says Lake on it, so it's hers. And then down here, since the drawer broke off, I use it to store all my doll underwear. Then we have some doll hospital bands. A lot of sunglasses and regular glasses. And then we have all my doll earrings. There's a necklace in there, and then just a random small things. But yeah, that's it for their room. So the last room that I'm going to be showing you in part one of my dollhouse tour is the bathroom. Yes, 21 dolls have to share one bathroom. I mean, that's kind of terrible, but oh well. Right here you can see this homemade pedestal sink I made out of like a paper towel and this old bowl and just a bunch of random things. I want to add a mirror up there, but I broke it. So I need to get a new one. Then we have a mason jar. It says laundry on it. Acting as a laundry basket. Over here we have this bathtub set from our generation. Um, I think I got it quite a while ago. And there's a seashell up there. Inspired by H.E. Smiles. She did that in her bathroom, I'm pretty sure. It may have been a different one. Yeah, I don't know yet. I'm really tired. Anyway, then we have this scrubby that I got with a little bath time outfit or whatever. In the corner we have some hair stuff. Flat irons, curling iron, hair dryer. Then we have a homemade makeup thing over there. In this corner in the bathroom we have my homemade toilet made out of like a mug. Cardboard and like tissue thing. Or not a tissue, a hand wipe thing. Um, yeah, that was inspired by Emerald AG. And then there were braces for dolls. Oops, I just knocked them down. There's another one of those candle things. And above the toilet, we have a little cabinet thing that I got from the dollar store. I went there yesterday, and I saw it, and I was just like, oh, that's so cute. So I got it. I might want another one just for fun. But on top, there's, like, toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, um, mouthwash, and all that stuff. Inside of it, there's shampoo, conditioner, just some, like, oily, like, lotions and stuff mouth guard, body wash, and a cute little spray bottle that dangles from it. But that's all for the bathroom. Anyway, that was kind of quick. I talked pretty fast on camera, but that was all for part one. I will show you floor three and four the next time, which should be coming out pretty soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!